Today we are going to continue with part 9 of our time to upload tutorial for data science and machine learning. So let me just change to 9. Uh, previous was was 8, not 7. So today we are going to kind of evaluate the predicted results. So the intention is to visualize uh, the performance of our model. So that's what we are going to do. And I would like to remind you to subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. Hit the subscribe button below. So now the predict predictions made by our model gives us a list or an array list of 10 items with each item representing the percentage of confidence that the model have that that particular prediction uh, corresponds to a particular level. So here it's telling us that this model have 0% confidence that this is a t-shirt. This model have 0% confidence that it's either a t-shirt all the way to the Port one, but it has certain confidence of, of a, 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 a considerable percentage of confidence that it is a shade, right? It has a considerable percentage of confidence that it is a number seven should be sneaker, uh, should be sandal. Okay, sandal is it sandal? Maybe sandal is number five. It should be sneaker or it should be an ankle uh, or number eight, a bag. Okay. All right, so let's see how we can produce. We are, we, are, we are going to produce a plot, the image plot, side by side with the with this bar plot we have here. So let's go back to our drawing board. So we can produce the image plot. What of the bar plot that displays the, the, the percentages that we already have in our prediction result, which is this. All right. Um, what... What I, I, I would like to mention is this is not a Python coding class, so I'm not going to explain to you, uh, I'm not going to go in depth of explaining how uh, these functions I've written out here work. I'll run you through it, it's very easy to understand. So let's take the first one, the, the function to produce an image. Well, this function simply produces an image, so it's a function that takes a particular image, the image i, Takes the prediction array, takes the true uh, the true level, and takes also an image, right? So it assigns prediction array, the true level, and image from here. Prediction array, true level, and image i is assigned to this variable. So this img is just a uh, a variable, okay? All right. So we have this, and now we are going to cite these plot parameters. Is okay. Then we have the PLC that image show the image. This is, this one is clear to you. Now prediction level is equal to maximum value of the prediction level. Maximum value, sorry, maximum value of the prediction array. Not the value, maximum index of the prediction array, right? Maximum index, not the maximum value. So it's telling us that if the, if the maximum value is 97, the index of that 97, maybe 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So if the level is the true level, or the, the predicted level, it corresponds to the true level. If the predicted level corresponds to the true level, then what is the true level anyway? True le level is this, okay? If it corresponds, then display the color in green, else display it in red, okay? So this is the the test that displays on that image. Okay. All right. The next function I'm going to uh, is I'm going to use is a function that creates a bar plot. So I'm going to just copy this function and I'm going to just paste it. All right. So let me just shift this down a bit. So this function takes the and um, takes i takes predict prediction array and takes the true level and then it creates a bar plot. All right. So take some time to go through it. It's quite easy to understand as well. All right. So the next thing we want to do now is to is to now display the image side by side with with the display the image side by side with the bar plot. So th in this case, I'm going to write it. Let's say, let's assume we want to display image zero side by side with the bar plot. I'm going to say uh, let me just kind of reduce reduce this so that we can see everything unfortunately um i don't know i think i could do this let's try this 
I want us to be seeing the two functions we are using as well as uh, writing the code. Okay, I think this kind of makes sense. All right, so let's maybe I could just remove some space from here. Remove space, remove space, and remove space. I remove the space as well. All right. All right, so now uh, I'm going to say uh, i is equal to zero. So let's display the image zero and also the bar plus by image zero. I'm going to say plc.figure. This you already know how to do. Let's use a fig size of 600. Fig size of 600. So the height is a bit, um, a bit, uh, a bit more than the width. So the fig size should be 603. And we are using two plots, two, two plots, one the image and the other one the bar plot. So we are going to use subplots. So I'm going to say plt the subplots. The first subplot is one, one, two. And, and the first one, one, two, and the first one. Okay. So because we have one row containing two columns in the subplot. I've discussed subplot in another, another lesson. Uh, we can take a look at that. So I'm going to now plot the image uh, by calling the plot image function. This plot image function, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to say plot image, and I'm going to pass it prediction i. In this case, we are saying i to be zero, and I'm going to take the predictions for i, the predictions for image i. Because for i image zero, we have prediction zero for it. So predictions and prediction zero for sure you know that is also 10 items. And we now specify uh, the true label. Okay. So in this case, the true label is uh, the true label uh, test images, test levels. Test levels, that is what we called it before now, and test images. Okay. All right, so these are just arrays that we are going to use at this point. So we are plotting, we are taking prediction i, and then we are uh, taking prediction, so this should actually be i as well, not prediction zero, where i is zero. So we have test levels, when we come to test levels and we are doing this prediction array, so uh, it's going to assign IMG to be IMG0. So basically this is IMG0, that is what we are seeing here. Okay, and test levels is going to eventually be, uh, the true level is going to be true level I. True level I, test levels assigned true uh, level I. Um, okay. Now, this is also, also not a Python class or a plotting class. We just want to view how our model is performing. I could have copied and pasted it, but uh, let's just type it out. I'm going to use subplot 1, 2, 2. Uh, 1, 2, 2. That is the second item, which is the images at this point. And I'm going to call the function to do the bar plot, which is the plot value array. Plots plot value array and uh, give it i the parameters give it predictions i and pass it test levels all right so and i'm going to show it plt the show perfect right <coughs> so I guess I run this. I, I, I think I should run it again just to make sure. Then I'm going to run this. Hopefully, if there is no error, prediction. So we have a typo here. Prediction, not not prediction. Uh, it should be predictions in plural. And I'm going to run. Uh, let's see what we have. Matplotlib has no attribute sub. Uh, sub plot, sub plt the subplot. So it actually printed the first one. It plotted the first one, but it couldn't understand the second. All right. 
So this is what we have. This is what we wanted to achieve. So for prediction, for i is equal to zero, mm -hmm. it's telling us that it's close to the highest percent of confidence is 98% confidence that this is an uncle boot. That is fine. Let's try to predict for image another image on, on, on the line. So let's try to say i is equal to 12. Let's try to predict for image 12. Let me run it. Uh, so it tells us that. Uh, so we see there is this marking a trait. So it's telling us that this is sneaker, uh, but it is something else. Uh, the, the, it's telling us it's a sandal. 98% confident that this is a sandal, but actually it is a sneaker. Ah, so that is a problem. Yeah, so I see that our model has not done perfectly well. So maybe we can try another one. Let's try. Let's try the, the rally. Let's just choose randomly 18. Okay, 18 is predicted correctly as well. So you see that our model did quite well. And let me try, just try randomly something else. Uh, let me just try. Of course, we can try something bigger, maybe 30. It predicted correctly. Uh, three. Yeah, trouser and it's telling us 100%, 100%, 100% 100 confidence that it is a trouser. Let's try something else. So this is just amazing. Uh, so our model actually is not so bad. It's doing quite well. So here it's telling us that it is uh, a shake on the top at close to 94% confidence. All right, so this is how to check how the model is working. This is this is this is great and it's really fine, but we can see our model failed at some point, so meaning it's not hundred percent accurate. So as I mentioned, this is tutorial nine, which is the prediction results, evaluating the prediction result one. In the next lesson, we are now going to move on to evaluate a little more the prediction result. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and we see in the next class.